Hey guys, welcome back to Queen of Quirk. It is finally the return of my monthly favourites. It kind of died down last year because I left it really late to upload my This October I Loved and then I decided oh, I'll just wait till 2016 as everyone says. <laughs> so as it is coming to the end of the month I thought I would upload my This January I Loved as I have quite a few favourites. This January I loved the Naked Smoky palette. I'll probably keep loving this for another few months but I use it quite a lot throughout January. In my going out makeup look video I used this and I use this because it has such a good collection of dark smoky colours that are perfect for night outs in the winter time and everything. It is just beautiful. <laughs> it's so nice to use. This lipstick, oh my lord, I am obsessed with this lipstick. It is Plum Dandy from MAC. Um, I bought it quite on a whim while I was in Munich on a school tour. This is like the perfect winter nude. It's dark, but it's not. It's like a nude dark lipstick. It's gorgeous. I'm wearing it right now. Love the colour. A favourite of January. In January I loved these two Benefit products and they're both eyebrow products. This one is a highlighter, it's called Highbrow. What I do is I put it underneath my eyebrow to kind of like accentuate the arch. <laughs> I think that's what I said in my going out makeup look, makeup look video. And I also have the Gimme Brow Benefit Brow Mascara. They're kind of like the new additions to my eyebrow routine. Before I just used my Eyler eyebrow pencil but now I use these two as well. Also in Munich I bought a new concealer. I love it. I think you can tell because the packaging is all faded away. It's the NYX HD concealer. <laughs> Another language there. It's not too cakey and it's like really easy to blend and this is the perfect shade for my skin tone. It's perfect. Throughout this month I've been burning this candle a lot. This is from Balm Cosmetics and it's called Paradise Lost. Return to Eden. I Oh my god, I love the smell. There's pure grapefruit and orange essential oils in this candle and it smells divine. I keep lighting it because it makes my room smell so good. So cozy and nice and warm. I should burn candles more often. My skincare routine was getting a bit bleh, not really. It wasn't really a routine anymore. So I said to myself, Jane, buy some new products. You kind of need to update your routine and make sure your skin is kept in good condition. So I got these two Boots products, Boots Bot Botanics, The Power of Plants, this one is the Mycetor Cleanser, and this is the Hydration Day Cream. I love these, like, I'm, I'm really happy when I get a product that doesn't irritate my skin, like this one is also perfect for taking off eye makeup. I use a cotton pad and I just rub it all over, take off all the makeup, and then I rub it over my eyes. And it doesn't hurt me at all. It's for, for de dehydration and sensitive skin, so that probably explains why it doesn't hurt at all. The day cream is, oh my god, I love it. It's such a smooth formula. You put it on, you just feel so fresh, and it's not too sticky, not too drying, and it's just perfect. And it also has SPF, which is fab. This Batiste dry shampoo is definitely a favorite of January because of the scent. Oh my god, it smells so good! It is in the scent Oriental, pretty and opulent. It just really refreshes my hair on the day when I'm not washing it. I love it. My Lush Bath Bombs, which I got for Christmas. Unfortunately, I can't show them to you because I have used them. One of them was the Intergalactic Bath Bomb, and it was the blue, purple, yellow one, and it was gorgeous. Like, when you put it in the bath, it was all colourful, and it smelled amazing, as all Lush products do. And the other one was Snow Angel, kind of a Christmassy one, had some gold in it and it was kind of a yellowy bath, gorgeous smell as well. But I think I prefer the Intergalactic bath bomb just a bit more, I think because of all the pretty colours. Throughout January, I loved two books which I read and one of them was the Doctor Who Time Lord Fairy Tales book. And you're just thinking... This girl is crazy. <laughs> I know, okay. My friend Sarah got me this book because I texted a Instagram photo to my friends saying, as a joke, I was saying, I said, oh, like, I need this book. I just saw the cover and I was like, oh my god, that looks amazing because I'm a big fan of Doctor Who. Sarah actually got it for me. I wasn't expecting anyone to, but she got it for me for Christmas and oh my god, this book is 
amazing. The illustrations inside are incredible. Look at that. I'll definitely have a review of this book on my blog because it is such a cute book and I really recommend it to any fairy tale and Doctor Who fans. Another favourite book of mine throughout January, I still haven't finished it yet, but it is The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime by Mark Haddon. It is such an interesting book. It is about a boy called Christopher and he has Asperger's syndrome and it's about a mystery he tries to solve. It's such an interesting insight into how other people can think. When reading this, I understand his thinking. I understand, like, and he's very smart, very mathematical, and I just think this is such a clever book. I love it. And I've almost finished it. I've only a few pages left. Woo! And I can't wait to finish it. It's just such a brilliant book. I love it. Definitely recommend it. Community. Oh my god, I love this show so much. I started watching it in late December. It's on Netflix up to five seasons. There's six seasons in the whole show, but there's five seasons on Netflix. Apparently it's going to be taken off in February, so if you're gonna watch it, watch it now. Community is about this group of people in a community college, and they're just a group of friends, and they go through different things. Each episode's about 20 minutes long, and it is so funny. I just really recommend anyone to watch Community. It is such a fun show to watch. Sherlock the Abominable Bride. Abominable, abominable bride. Oh my lord. <laughs> oh my god, it was so good. The whole episode, that was it was set in Victorian times. It was so clever. I love the way it was filmed. Sherlock is everything. In case you can't tell, Sherlock is everything. In January, I loved my collage. This is a collage I made on New Year's Eve because I am so sociable and as well as that I watched Downton Abbey. Oh my god! I haven't talked about Downton Abbey. I am in a mess here, okay? Downton Abbey. I am obsessed with Downton Abbey. I watched it with my mum and dad and the, we finished season one on Netflix. I think we watched the first episode of season two. Oh my god. The characters, the fashion, the time period, the drama, the everything. Oh my god. This January, I loved Panic at the Disco's new album, Death of a Bachelor. Yes. I love it. Um, I already knew about like six of the songs because there were so many singles from this album, um, but the other five or six, I'm not sure, <laughs> are amazing. Obsessed. My favourite songs are L.I. D.V.T., Golden Days, House of Memories, Death of a Bachelor, Victorious, all of them really. Emperor's New Clothes as well. Also, Coldplay's new album, A Head Full of Dreams, I think is what it's called. Incredible. Um, my favourite songs are Adventure of a Lifetime, Birds, Him for the Weekend, and Fun featuring Toblo. This is Him for the Weekend by Coldplay. So I think that is everything that I liked in or loved in January. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I hope you have a fabulous day. That's the story in Balamori. I will see you another time. Goodbye.